So have you ever stopped to think about what happens when an AI is actually given the tools to build itself? It sounds like science fiction, right? Well, today we're diving into Claude Code. It's a developer tool that is completely rewriting the rules of how software gets made. So how on earth did an AI learn to build itself? And what does this mean for the future of, well, everything? Let's get into it. Okay, to really wrap your head around just how big a deal this is, you got to start with this number. $500 million. That's the annual run rate revenue Claude Code is already pulling in. This is not some small niche tool for hobbyists. It is an absolute financial juggernaut. And, you know, it's not just about the money. Its usage has just exploded. We're talking more than 10 times in just three months since it went public back in May 2025. It is, without a doubt, a total phenomenon. But the real question is, how did it even get here? All right, first up, let's talk about the sheer scale of this revolution. But here's the fascinating part. This massive half a billion dollar success story, it started as a complete and total accident. Yeah, its origins are way more humble than you would ever guess. I mean, just look at this timeline. It is breathtakingly fast. The very first prototype was just hacked together in September of 2024. Just two months later, they were already using it inside Anthropic, you know, what developers call dog fooding, where you use your own stuff. And by May 2025, boom, it was out in the world. From a personal experiment to a global tool in about eight months. Wow. And that first prototype, get this, it wasn't even designed to write code. The founding engineer, Boris Cherney, he just wanted to see if he could get Claude to tell him what song was playing on his Mac. It was a cool little demo, for sure, but as he said himself, it was not that interesting for actual engineering. This, this is the moment where everything changed. That cool but kind of useless music app was about to become something absolutely extraordinary, and all it took was giving the AI a tiny little new toolkit. And here it is. This is the turning point. He gave the AI three super simple abilities. The power to read files, the power to write files, and the power to run commands. That's it. Three basic functions that unlocked a whole world of potential. All of a sudden, the AI wasn't just sitting there waiting for prompts. It was exploring. It would read a file, see what other files were being imported, and then it would go and read those files to understand the entire code base on its own. This was that mind-blowing aha moment.